Sandra Golden. This is All in a Day's Work. I am standing outside All or Nothing Tattoo. This is in Smyrna, Georgia, but if you know anything at all about tattoo and body piercing, this place is world famous. That's right, world famous. I'm not getting a tattoo, no way. But, Braves Relief Pitcher, Peter Moylan, he's inside right now, inside the private studio, getting his left arm, his non-pitching arm worked on. Here's the deal, Brandon Bond, he owns this place. He's a huge Braves fan. He calls up Peter and said, hey, come let me do my thing on your arm. So, this is going to be cool. We're going to get a private viewing, private studio, and we want you to see it. It's going to be pretty cool. It's all in a day's work. Come in. Hello. Oh my goodness, look how fancy. <laughs> Hi Brandon, I'm Sandra. It's nice to meet nice you. Nice to I'm meet Brandon. you too. Peter. Hi Peter Moylan, how are you? How are you? you guys Braves fans remember Peter Moylan? This is actually his day off in our All in a Day's Work show and he doesn't look like he's off at all. Absolutely. All right Brandon, how did you decide uh, what you wanted to do on Peter? Well, the truth is I'm kind of limited by what the existing work already is. So what I'm doing is trying to go in and enhance everything. It's almost like covering up a tattoo, but with the same imagery. Mm -hmm. Like today he came in and he already had this Florida Lee, which you can kind of see the gray parts were already there. Okay. And me and one of my best artists sat here and drew in Sharpie marker all this extra stuff to make it dimensional, to give it depth. And we're going to go in and just go crazy with the color so it jumps off and blinds small children. My wife and I, you know, we love the Braves and we do the season ticket thing and we never miss a game. I, I actually base my entire tattooing schedule because I'm booked about a year in advance. So we base it on Braves.com. Whenever they were in town, I wouldn't be working. And then when, when, they're, when they're on their road trip is when I'm tattooing like a madman in here. Actually, I'll tell you the story how we met. Brandon was at a Braves game, he's a season ticket holder, and uh, for a couple of days in a row I had this bald guy with tattoos all over him screaming at me from the right field bleachers. And I sort of didn't pay attention and then eventually I, I, I turned around and I threw a ball to him and the next day there was a package from All or Nothing Tattoo sitting in my locker saying I would like to uh, to tattoo you, and and I think that I could, uh, I could think I could have a lot of fun with your arms, and and I said, all right, let's. Uh... Actually, I think it said that your tattoos were terrible, <laughs> and that I'd pick some for you. <laughs> let's be honest. That was uh, that was that was the <laughs> gist of so it. When yeah. did he finally look up? Oh, he finally. did that that day. No, it was because it was during BP, so he was right next to where we were, and it was me and and one of my staff members when we noticed the tattoo, and uh, yeah, he immediately looked up, but it was more of a. What the hell's going on up there, kind yeah. of thing. I mean, I have people screaming at me every day, yeah, you as do. you can probably imagine. Yeah. Well, Peter Moylan can't pitch any better than that. And you just knew of him, and you knew the fact that he had ink already all over him. Well, you know, I was actually surprised because he has to wear um, those long blue undergarments right. when he pitches, so I didn't know. And I saw him during batting practice, and his terrible tattoos just jumped out of the field at me. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God! Look at those terrible tattoos. But being an uh, Australian side armor with tattoos, he immediately became our studio's favorite picture. Right, right, right. And uh, at All or Nothing, we've all become intense Moylan fans. So you're really from Australia. The, the, that accent's real, the whole deal. It's been a four year long, uh, just elaborate prank that I've pulled on everyone in the Braves organization. No, yeah. I, I'm, yeah, same Australia. <laughs> Can you do a southern accent? It's all about the R's. We, we say ah, ba, ka. Yeah. Park the car in yeah. the car park, whereas you guys are park the car in the car park. It's no, all, nice. oh. Look at you. That sounded good. Uh, Peter, when in the world did you get your first tattoo here? I was actually when I first signed with the twins. Really? What year was that? 1997. Okay. And my life has been a journey of bad tattoos. <laughs> Uh, Until now. Till now, of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, my first tattoo was an eight ball. An eight ball. Okay. An eight ball. Uh, For those of you who don't understand the Australian language. An eight, eight ball, ball, like a, a pool table. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight ball, and then uh, I continue to get worse tattoos, and I actually have a Tasmanian devil still on my leg. Isn't that embarrassing? 
Brandon's he has free reign with my arm. I completely trust him. He's he's proven to me that he's good enough to warrant having free reign on my arm. So it's pretty much whatever you want to do, you can do it. And you know that. Yeah. Sweetheart. Yeah. Thanks, sweetie. <laughs> no, the truth is it, it allows for, especially under the conditions of, of trying to fix old work that's subpar, it allows for a lot of artistic freedom, which I think leads to a much richer success artistically. He's also maybe promised that he will get a blank canvas at some stage and not just have to rework my older material. Totally. Great job, but Peter Moyle at three up and three down, three strikeouts. Start playing baseball at 11 years old. Yep. Come naturally, were you always a pitcher? Funny story, and at least signed with the Braves as a 16 year old uh, as a shortstop. Um, but uh, the very next tournament I played in, I pitched one game and the Minnesota Twins saw me pitch and they wanted to sign me as a pitcher. Um, and I've been pretty much blind since the time I was that age, so that was always, my eyes were deteriorating and it was, it was a concern for them whether I was going to be able to hit right, with right. that bad that vision. So um, I decided to come over as a pitcher, and, and, but I was a really good shortstop. Wow. And I, I don't know whether you've actually noticed that during BP, I, I like to still take a few ground I balls. I see you and, field, yeah. Yeah. Lay out every now and then. Show to, Escobar how it is. Show Escobar yeah. how, how, how we do it back down under. Wow. Being the seventh inning guy, that, I mean, the majority of the time I'm going to come out with runners on base. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's Probably. nice It's nice to be able to, be able to come out and, uh, and get guys to hit, hit the ball on the ground. And, hit him into double plays. It's it's fun and, and it's I don't usually fist pump a lot, but I've fist pumped twice in the last week. I, mean, I think fans love to see that. Like well, I good, see myself you know? afterwards and, and I'm and I'm sitting there doing this and I'm like, man, what are you doing? You look at someone like Mariano Rivera and he sort of has this demeanor of blank face and, yeah. and I've, this is what I get paid to do. Act like you've done it before. That's it's boring to watch though, dude. Yeah. It's boring. It's true. You're you're not exactly the everyday pitcher. I mean look at what you're doing right now on your off day. Yeah. So right now what I'm doing is just kind of tying the upper portion of the arm to the lower part so that it all looks cohesive and fresh as though it was done at the same time. The issue is if it's old looking junk down here next to a bunch of fancy new stuff, it's gonna look terrible. So we've gotta kind of trick the eye into seeing the entire sleeve as one rhythmic, cohesive, awesome piece of art. It's really flowing together good, especially under the circumstances of what we were given to begin with. Oh, man, you keep are. bringing that up. Like, <laughs> I know it was bad, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want me to do? It's, it's my job, man. It's my job. I see bad tattoos all the time. It drives me nuts. I see bad goatees on your face up here <laughs> in the videos. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, that was a pretty terrible goatee. Brandon, we're going to get out of here because you, uh, you're awesome. Thank you so much. We, I, I'm just so impressed with your work. You're really something, and thank you for letting us be a part of it. And how about we're going to show up at Turner Field tomorrow and see the finished product with Peter. I'm excited. Yeah, I'll be there too. I'll be the one yelling from the stands, Morley! <laughs>